Yo guys, uh, it's Michaela back with another YouTube video. Um, I haven't posted in a while, and I was looking through my recent, like, my, not my recent uploads, but my uploads, and I saw my vinyl 2.0, and I was like, you know what? I could do that, because I've gotten so many vinyls since I've got my record player, and I did that one over a year ago, so I was like, you know what? Why not? Okay, so, um... I do not think I had to go through and watch the videos and I was like, which ones did I have? Like, I can't remember when I got any of these, but the AM by the Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> I got this over a year ago. Yeah. Um, it's like definitely probably one of the most used finals I have. When I first got it, I think I played it probably every single day for like a whole month. Um, I'll just tell you my favorite song on it. I would say it would either be Me Socks or Number One Party Anthem. I don't know why. I just really like them. They're just really good songs. But yeah, the AM I think is one of the most, I think it's the Arctic Monkeys best album, but maybe I'm just biased because it's the first one I heard when I discovered them or when my friend showed me who they were. The next one I actually got is uh, Tranquility Bay's Hotel and Co Casino. Casino. <laughs> which is also by the Arctic Monkeys. I'm not gonna lie, but I just, I didn't like, it was a different vibe. It was like a different genre than the previous one. And it wasn't like, I don't know. I just, I didn't enjoy it as much, but the songs are still good. I like it. Um, my favorite song will probably be, I like the Ultra Cheese on this one. I thought that was very good. And obviously like four out of five, it was like their mainstream song from this album. And it's not bad. I mean, like, Alex Turner, I think that's his name. I forget now, because it's been so long since I've, like, listened to the Arctic Monkeys. I don't know why. I just haven't listened to them recently. Another one, of course. How can you not, like, have a five seconds of summer vinyl? Like, this is, uh, Youngblood. I forgot the name of it for a second. It was good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I don't know if the vinyl's like colored or anything. Oh, it's it's clear, which I mean it's not black. So I mean most of my vinyls are black, which is fine. Uh, my favorite songs on this would definitely be "Why Won't You Love Me" and "Go See You." But my favorite song on the actual album is "Monsters and Men." I don't know, and it's not on this because I don't think they could have fit it. Because there's three songs. I think it's like more. Um, no, more is on this, but I know Monsters and Men is not on it, which makes me highly upset as that is one of my favorite albums from them. Not an album, a song. I am so... Billie Eilish. Her EP. She has gone mainstream and I am, I'm so happy for her. But I am so upset that everyone at my school think I've been listening to her for a while now, and everyone at my school is like, oh my god, Billie Eilish. And I'm like, bro, name like more than two of her songs that aren't like Bury a Friend and um, Wish You Were Gay, which are dope songs, I must say. But like, I don't know. Everyone just jumps on the bandwagon, and I'm glad she made it like big, because that's what everyone wants, and I think it's great that she did that. But yeah, I'm just saying, you bandwagoners need to stop. And it's red. Thumbnail. Um, it's a, it's beautiful, like a red vinyl, can't get any better, like, change my mind. Um, definitely favorite songs on this would be Hostage, oh my god, Hostage. Actually, literally all the songs on this album are good, like, like, oops, let me play. Now, for the best vinyl I own to this day, and I can never own a better vinyl, is Pink Floyd The Wall features two vinyls. Two vinyls. And it is by, yes, by Pink Floyd. <laughs> it is such a good, like, concept for an album. And, like, if you have never listened to Pink Floyd The Wall, please go do, and then watch the movie. The okay, but, like, did you just see that thing pass? I literally had to, like, cut. I'm editing this, and I see this thing swipe across my screen. I don't know what it was. I don't think it's a lighting thing, but I don't know. Maybe it's a ghost. Maybe it's not. But, like, I've been sure my house is haunted, like, a thousand and one times. 
Um, I've never, like, done a video on it because I can't really prove my theory, but I'm pretty sure it is haunted. But, yeah. What was that? Um, tell me what you think it was. I honestly don't know, and I just saw it in this video. Oh, my God. Let's rewatch it again. The movie. The movie is spectacular, and I love it, like, with all my heart. Like, if I could just own one movie and one vinyl, it would be that those. It was just, it's spectacular. It's, like, unbelievably good. And I actually got the Billie Eilish one for Christmas and the Pink Floyd one for Christmas. And I got this one for Christmas as well. No doubt, uh, Fallen Kingdom. Tragic Kingdom. Fallen Kingdom. This, yeah. Um, now, I don't listen to this as often. Um, I obviously have some favorite songs on this, like Spiderwebs, Just a Girl, Hey You, um, You uh, Don't Speak, like the typical like popular songs on the album. Um, I actually like Gwen Stefani, I think she's amazing. Um, but yeah, I got this for Christmas, I thought it was amazing. I didn't know what it was at first because I was like never really listened to No Doubt, but they're actually really good. Have a listen. And also for Christmas, I went out and bought Vessel, which is by 21 Pilots, one of my favorite bands from when I had my emo phase back in the dark days, aka junior high. Favorite songs would definitely be Trees at Shannon Jones. Literally, it's like our song in the car, and I'm just like, so good. Also, Holding On To You and Scream. I also put these in order from when I got them, so yeah, from like over a year ago to now. Also, I went out and bought Sunflower for like $30 or $40 Canadian. Do the math, Americans. I don't know, man. Um, expensive. It has one song on it. I, I was crazy. I bought it. I really don't think there's anything special about it. No. Except for the fact that my friend Andrew had to give me an adapter so I could play it on my record player. That's it. Um, it's good. Sunflower from the movie Spider-Man. I'm sure you've heard it. Another one is Billie Eilish, her latest album. I finally went out and bought it there a couple. I think it was like after my birthday, which is May. I usually do a birthday video, but I didn't do one last year. And it's orange. Like, look at this. Beautiful. So beautiful. And like, when I first listened to the album, like, I'm just gonna give my honest opinion. Um, I kind of thought it was overhyped. I'm not gonna lie. I listened to it and I was just like, you know what? This isn't as good as I expected it to be. But that's because it's like a little bit different from her EP. And I loved her EP so much with like all my heart and like her previous songs before that. And I was kind of like, mm, it's not my favorite. But once I listened to it more, I got into it. Um, Favorite songs would definitely be Zanny. That's a go-to always when I'm upset, sad, hyped, anything. Zanny is like the song to listen to for me. Um, I also like um, I L O M I L O. I I really just don't know what that means. I don't know. I'm just stupid. Maybe it means something. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe that's just the name of the song. It's good. I love you is also good on this. And listen before I go. I'm just like Billy singing all your sad songs. Like. Come here, Billy, and like sing your sad songs. I just, I'm obsessed with her sad songs for some reason. Like, you play Hostage, and I'm like, yes. <gasps> yeah. Um, and the last final, I've talked so fast because I just want to get through this and make sure the video is not too long. But my last final that I recently got like a week ago is Bad Flower. Okay, I'm sick. And I recently started to listen to these guys, and I think they're amazing. It kind of reminds me of like My Chemical Romance, which is like good, no hate. Like, they're such a good band. Um, I literally went, sat down, and I listened to the whole vinyl today because I finally got home. So I was at my dad's for a week, and then they came back. And I listened to it on my vinyl player. As you can probably see, it's open for once on camera. And I listened to it. Um, I don't know why. I thought all the songs were so good. And like just the way they like the lyrics, they all just like fit together and it's like telling a story. And I just love songs that can like portray something. Like their music videos are also really dope, so like definitely check them out. But my favorite song is Heroin. I don't know why, but I can just connect with that song. Not that I've done heroin. I haven't. Disclaimer. Um, but it's just it's so good. And like all our songs mean something. Like you think it means one thing, like 
it could be oh, it's just i don't know i don't know how to explain it but it's so good heroin is good the jester is good we're in love promise me guts the whole album is good like check these guys out i love him i love these guys they're just they're amazing and i'm just expressing my feelings like they put me in the fields i listen to them in the shower and i'm just like yes queen it's like get it do whatever like cool um but yeah uh you can't really see my room today it's a state as always but you know that already um i guess this is it for the video if you want to see more videos uh comment down below um if you can't hear what i'm saying i'll put up subtitles someone say that because i know i'm talking really fast but yeah um how do i look compared to last time terrible even worse i know anyways i'll see you guys last time peace out